Steve Estoni. Hey, Brendan. Welcome to Carpool Conversations. Thank you, mate. Thanks for having me. Thanks for picking me up. It was pretty cold out there. Oh, no worries. My first question is really about, you know, what's life like as a burnt out, out of work actor these days? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked because uh, life's great. I've got three beautiful children. I run my own business nowadays and um, I do manage to find time to uh, make my mental health a priority and that's why I'm here. You've actually been flying the the mental health and suicide prevention flag for seven or eight years now. Now you're um, also an ambassador for, for Are You OK? Yeah. What kind of got you here? I'm horrified by the statistics around male suicide in Australia. I think that our attitude of, you know, just drink a cup of concrete and, and suck it up, princess, and all this kind of stuff just isn't helpful. I guess it's just really important to have these conversations, to destigmatize the shame that's associated with, with mental health. Um, you know, when people are down, they're reluctant to reach out, particularly men in this country. You know, we, we don't talk about our emotional state very often. Why is that? And what can we do about it? Well, how, you know, um, how do we get men to be more connected? Well, I think firstly we've got to stop framing it as a weakness. The idea that a man can't share his emotions or shouldn't have or feel emotions is just toxic. You know. So how do you draw that out of someone if you're worried about a mate? Yeah. Um, you know, I find that you know you can go for a walk down the beach or go to the park and kick the footy around or at a barbecue. You just pull someone aside and go, mate. You know, I've noticed that you know you haven't been returning my calls, or you know, I notice you're not yourself. You know, you haven't been your fun-loving self, and and I'm a bit worried about you. And sometimes just just knowing that someone's noticed and cares is enough to make them reach out and 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 share that burden. You know, there is a lot of signs when someone's not travelling well, and and the way I approach it is, I always find it's it's really um, valuable for me to share a little bit about how I'm travelling. If I bring down my barriers if I bring down my armor for a minute then it gives you license to bring down yours you know like I often will talk about my own experience with addiction and depression to someone who I think is struggling because what it does is it actually gives them license to do the same mate for anyone who's seen our couple conversation if they were to walk away with one thing and forget everything else that we've spoken about if you could leave them with one thing one thing what would that be well, I guess the, the most important thing for me to remember is I'm not alone you know, there's always someone who'd be willing to help me. If I, all I have to do is reach out, you know. Mate, it's, uh, it's very true. And, mate, we seriously value your support. And I'm going to find a safe place to, to let you out so you can keep exploring this oh, beautiful what? Ballarat town. This yeah. is like a safe pl place around here. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, mate. I'll see you, brother. Thanks for having a chat good with me. Good to see you, me. mate. Yeah, good on you. Keep up the good work, Brendan. Thanks, mate. <laughs>